Here's a 223 Remington and a 556 NATO. You'd think both of them have about the same capacity for powder, but they don't. Theoretically, the 556 should have a smaller capacity than the 223 Remington. But this head stamped PMP 223 Remington tells a different story. First, I put the 556 Lake City Brass in, and then I put in the PMP from South Africa, and then try to load it with 27.5 grains of BLC2 powder. You'll see that the Lake City Brass easily holds the powder, but the PMP Brass from South Africa cannot hold the 27.5 grains. What this means to you is that you need to be careful with which head stamps you're reloading. A brass with a smaller capacity than the other will have higher pressures and potentially a dangerous load, especially if you're loading near the maximum powder charges as figured out through your chronograph or reloading manuals. So be safe and know what brass you're putting your powder into. Thanks for watching.